지난 몇달 동안 어, 우리 이민자 커뮤니티가 열망했던 어떤 그 서류 적체 현상 해결과 어, 서류 이민자 분들 영주권 취득 그리고 어떤 이민자들의 기본적인 인권과 민권을 어, 보장하기 위해서 전국적으로 130개 도시에서 어, 어, 100만 명 이상의 그런 그 이민자들이 거리로 나서서 저희들이 이런 그런 이민 정책을 어, 요구하는 그런 목소리를 어, 전달했는데 이런 것들에 대해서 지금 정치인들이 어, 올바르게 이런 우리 이민자 커뮤니티의 그런 목소리에 귀를 기울이고 이런 정책들을 이제 펴야 시기인데 이것을 지금 무시하고 책임을 무관하고 어 지금 이런 방관하는 그런 모습들에 대해서 저희들이 올바로 어 책임 있게 어 빨리 그 이민 정책을 어 만들라고 저희들이 요구하기 위해서 저희들이 일단 그런 이 자리를 마련했고요. 저희들이 구체적으로 어 앞으로 한 여름 동안에 어 전국적으로 한 3만 장의 어 그런 그 사진 엽서 분위기 캠페인을 이제 펼칠 계획입니다. 그래서 어, 하나는 우리 이민자들이 어, 범죄자도 아니고 우리 이민자들이 심지어는 테러리스트도 아니고 우리 이민자들은 어, 이 미국의 주인이고 이 사회의 이웃이고 또 많은 사람들의 노동자로서 또 가족으로서 이, 사, 이 사회에서 살고 있다는 그런 모습들을 어, 사진으로서 어, 살아있는 모습, 열심히 일하는 모습, 가족과 함께하는 그런 살아있는 어떤 인간적인 모습들을 어, 담은 사진들을 어, 전달함으로써 인도적인 어떤 이민 정책이 어, 만들어질 것을 저희들이 촉구하고 있습니다. 하나는 어, 웹사이트 그 보도 자료에 다 나와 있는데 웹사이트에 가서 본인의 어, 사진들이 있습니다. 이런 사진들을 어, 본인들이 골라가지고 어, 뒤에 어, 본인들의 이름 그리고 이민 정책을 열망하는 그런 그 메시지를 담아가지고 하나는 상원 어, 하나는 연방 하원 의원에게 또두 장은 각 주에 있는 두 명의 그 연방 상원 의원들에게 어, 저희가 The other is about continuing the mass mobilization, and three is about, uh, about public education to non-immigrants. As we were doing this work, what we saw in terms of the House and the Senate is that they're responding by going back to having hearings. And what we're saying is, this is not the time for hearings. The public knows very well now why we need immigration reform. This is a time to start getting down to work, to start working on legislation itself. That is a responsibility of members of Congress, and we need them to start understanding that. And that was the reason why we decided we need to emphasize grassroots lobby. Having community members be a part, once again, of uh, speaking to members of Congress. And for us, in our community, often the picture tells so much about our experiences. And that's why we decided that through a picture postcard campaign, this is one way, once again, to bring the, the current members of our community, but also new players, to be a part of this campaign. Right now, um, this picture postcard campaign has 30,000 pledged to date. We have 21 national and local organizations around the country who are part of this campaign, and many for the first time. 
what you see here is an assortment of the samples of picture postcards that we have. This is, for example, workers, uh, Hmong families, uh, families who've been separated, families who are For being given this opportunity, the boys are the one of the compelling problems of the Filipino American community. You know, but before I go into details, I would like to introduce myself. I am a, a World War II veteran, a survivor of Bataan, the death march, one year in the concentration camp, and two years as a guerrilla officer. And lately, 10 years ago, I was under the knife for eight years when they brought out my heart and changed two bags. Seniors, mostly veterans, who would like to drop a letter asking to find out what happened to their petition for their children, or what happened to their uh, approved petition long, long time ago, about 20 years. Now, you can just imagine being granted American citizens. So how many? Uh, because of the failures of our immigration system to address immigration backlogs. So, sometimes he tells me of going back to the Philippines, but I, thought, I tell you, what about your approved petition? You cannot, they cannot enter here without you, the petition being in your search. In many cases, people find no other recourse but to come without documentation. So we really need to look at the immigration system comprehensively and work in terms of solutions that are both just and humane. Our next speaker will be Angela Sobrano, and she's the executive director of the Central American Resource Center. Good morning, buenos dias. Uh, my name is Angela Sobrano, and I'm the executive director of CARESEN, Central American Resource Center. And CARESEN is pleased to join the KRC, NACASEC, and APAC. With we Are America picture postcard campaign because it is critical that Congress be reminded every day that the lives of millions of people, real people, real families, real men, women, and children are impacted by the broken immigration system. It is urgent that members of Congress touch their hearts and face the men and women and children whose lives are being impacted by proposing laws that are inhumane and unworkable. The latest proposal introduced by Senator Kate Bailey Hutchinson from Texas and Representative Mike Pence from Indiana calls for immigrants to self-deport. That is unrealistic and of course it will not work. And it shows that some members of Congress do not have a real connection and a real understanding of the immigrant community. So the postcard campaign will give the opportunity to the immigrant community to send a direct message to the members of Congress, much like the meal. Um, on behalf of the Asian Pacific American Legal Center, we are really happy to be here today to help kick off this campaign. This is a really important campaign, not just for the immigration reform movement, but also for Asian Americans. Um, just, uh, uh, just a little bit of uh, did by what is going on and what is being proposed and talked about um, in Washington, D.C. Um, first of all, Asian Americans um, all, all across the board are majority immigrant. We are predominantly immigrant population, uh, approximately two-thirds, 66% um, overall um, foreign-born, born abroad, but, but have come to the U.S. to make America our home. And for some communities, like the Korean community, um, South Asian, Southeast Asians, like Vietnamese, the numbers are actually much higher. They're 70 to 75 percent. Again, foreign-born immigrants who chose to come to this country in our first generation. Um, and another way to look at this is in, the, in Los Angeles and Orange counties, and out of a population of Asian Americans, Pacific Islanders of about 1.75 million, over 1 million are immigrants. That's a lot of Asian American immigrants concentrated just here in this part of the, of the country. The major implications you've already heard, the family backlog is very significant for Asian Americans. Um, more than 60%, about 63% of Asian Americans enter the U.S. Um, through the family backlog system, but that is a broken system. Many people can't get in through it. Um, and so that leads to the other major implication to make is as an Asian, as Asian American as an, as, and as an Asian American organization, um, we need to remember our history and actually 
kind of reflect our history back to Congress and to our lawmakers. The reason I say that is, if you read what's in the newspapers now, what, what, what is the dialogue about immigration? It's um, you hear phrases like, "Well, we need to keep out um, you know, sources of cheap labor." That you know, people are taking these immigrants are taking jobs away from um, um, real Americans or Americans. If the you know, presumption being that immigrants are not real Americans. Um, what's interesting is if you look at any history textbook um, documenting the late 1800s and issues around labor then, it's, it's word for word the exact same discussion. Um, it's, it's things like we have to keep out low paid, low wage, low skilled immigrants. We need to make sure they don't take jobs from Americans. They're taking too many of our jobs. And who they were talking about in the 1850s to the, to the late 1800s were Chinese immigrants. There were Filipino, Korean, Japanese immigrants. And laws were passed explicitly at that point in time saying that Asian immigrant <coughs> laborers were taking jobs away from Americans. Therefore, America had to respond. And the way America was going to respond was restrict immigration. And in some cases, it was so restrictive that Asians were essentially halted from coming into this country until the 1960s. And that's within the memory of many people in this room. Um, so it's actually very important for us to remember that this immigration debate, because what is being contemplated, will have a major impact. And the Hutchinson. Um, I forgot the name, Pence, the Indiana Congress uh, Senator. Um, unfortunately, their proposal actually explicitly leaves out the Asian American community. It's not a great deal for the Latinos who are contemplated, but there is no opportunity for undocumented Asians to legalize as part of it. Um, there is no discussion of family backlogs. So the compromises are actually going from bad to worse for the Asian American community. Um, and that is actually why the reason we're here today, maybe we care, we're impacted, and the best way to do it is through something like this. We need to visually remind our Congress that A, Asian Americans are part of the immigrant community, that we're part of this debate, we're part of both what is being contemplated and the solution, and we need to be, we need to get a lot of these in. <laughs> um, and so the um, Asian Pacific American Legal Center is working with NACASEC, um, with other members of the We Are America Coalition like Caressin, but also with a very big Asian American Immigration Coalition based here in LA um, to get out thousands of these postcards to, to get them signed, to get them collected and sent in. We also have opened an office recently in Orange County, and we also are targeting Orange County because many of the legislators who most embrace the anti-immigrant um, principles right now are from Orange County. So we're, we're going to be targeting both counties. Um, and the last thing I want to say is as an Asian American community, we've been united here locally around some key prin principles around keeping families together, around protecting our rights as immigrants. Um, and we have copies of those principles that we have all endorsed and that we, which we are using to educate our communities. And so for those who haven't seen it, we're happy to provide you copies of that as well because that's a major reason why we're participating in the campaign. Could you give me your name again and your title, please? It's Karen Wong, a Vice President at the Asian Pacific American Legal Center. Thank you, Karen. That <coughs> concludes the program part of our uh, press conference. Our speakers uh, are available for questions. If there are any questions um, to the group, come out. If there are no questions, our speakers are also available for personal interview. So uh, thank you very much for coming to the press conference. And please make sure to give your contact to the Mona in chat. Thank you. Thank you.